Right, so what do I think about being called Lao Wai? Um, to be quite honest, I, I hate it. So I've been here about um, three and a half years and originally I was only going to stay six months and during the first six months I, I didn't really mind it. Um, and I think it was because I knew that after six months it would all be over so people constantly pointed me in the street saying, hey look at the foreigner, look at the foreigner. Uh, it didn't really bother me. And then after those six months when I decided I wanted to stay longer, obviously it started to, to drag on me. And it's, yeah, it's at the point now where I just, I can't stand it. And I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't let it get to me, but it's just a natural reaction that I can't help. Um, it's just, that's just the way I am. And I've spoken to, to other foreigners about it and, and especially Chinese friends. And Chinese friends say, well, you know, we're just, we're just curious. And it's like, personally, I don't, I don't care why it is. Like, I don't care that it's just because you're, you're curious. Like, I can't help that my reaction when you guys say that is to is to let it let it get to me let it annoy me um that's just that's just the way i am so no it's it's just a constant reminder that no matter how long you live here you're never gonna integrate into society whereas if i was back in the uk or or, or you know people in the us or whatever you would never like point at someone in the street and go hey look at look at the asian you know you just you just wouldn't do it um so yeah, no, I don't like it. Hi everyone, I'm here to answer a question that was to me by Gary Wood, a very close friend of mine, about being called a Lawai or a foreigner here in China. Um, I don't like this term at all. Um, but to be perfectly honest, it is a term that I'm hearing less and less. Um, when I first came to China, which was 10 years ago, obviously um, the, the size of the foreign population in China was a lot smaller than it is today. Um, and it was, it was tiny. Um, when I first went to the city that I, I still live in now today, Xi'an, um, it was a frequent occurrence. You'd be called a Laowai um, almost half a dozen times a day. And you know, the first time I heard it, I thought, ooh, that's a bit disrespectful. And I was hoping that it was, uh, it'd be an isolated incident. Um, but I soon became aware that it was very, very common. Um, and you know, I, I have to say that I put it down to racism. Um, it is a term that they use because of your appearance. You don't see people saying the same thing about uh, Koreans or Japanese because obviously here in China that would be what is considered uh, an in invisible minority. Um, we belong in to us, us um, you know, people from Europe, um, Africa and whatnot, uh, visible minorities. Um, we are subject to this term more often um, than they are. And um, it's but I am, I'm actually, I, after thinking about it for a couple of minutes, I am, I'm more hopeful for the future, because obviously I, I'm hearing it a lot less than I, than I did when I first came in. Um, but a lot of work needs to be done on, um, on PC, political correctness in China. Um, it's something that's obviously absent in the education system, um, even more so at home. Um, uh, I, obviously, I think it's um, it all stems from I think it all stems from the, the home um, because when I first came here, um, you'd, you'd see parents walking their children down the street, and it'd be the parents who'd initiate it. It'd be the parents who pointed to us and said, "Look, there's a Lawai over there." The children, following suit, turned around and said, "Oh yeah, there is a foreigner over there." And obviously, they're going to grow up thinking that this is a um, this is okay. Um, I can act like this because my parents had to like this. I think that it's something that needs to be stamped out. Um, if China wants to keep its uh, reputation, um, which is suffering because of uh, certain other incidents, um, Chinese tourists, for example, abroad, um, it's their, their their reputation isn't very good at the moment, and um, they really need to address this issue. They need to make foreigners feel more welcome here, and ensure that they're not, you know, subject to these this this kind of well, what what it essentially is racist treatment. Um, but like I said, it is it is improved, and it's not as bad as when I first came here. Um, so there is hope. Uh, being called Laowai coming to China is very, very unreal for me. Um, back home, I was a very introvert person. I like my own space. I like to be not noticed. But coming to China, being called Laowai was seen as first as an insult as a label and I 
as being an introvert, I don't really like being picked out of a crowd. But uh, after I learned the reasoning for it, uh, there's my really good friends told me about the reasoning for it and it didn't bother me anymore as an insult. But still, it's picking me out of the crowd, and that is one of the things I really don't like. I just want to get on with my life, and get on with my day, and just to be my own person. Let them do their thing, let them do uh, their own thing.